All right, so in this lesson, we're going to show you how you can use object on a path inside your cuts a lot, but we're going to be using this font right here, okay? Now, Kay from Clever Someday created this cool little arrow font, and honestly, she does give it away for free, but, you know, we're all about supporting each other, right? So I'm going to put a link in here that sends you to this page. She gets all the money, and it's only $4 for a commercial license on this. So if you plan on using this uh, and selling something, I meant pay your $4, okay? So uh, that's going to be my only sales pitch for this. And let's go ahead and get started with this. So once you download this font, you can go ahead and either permanently install it or temporarily install it, just like we have uh, shown you before inside sure cuts a lot so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna bring up my library click the little star and over here in the fonts over here uh, you're gonna go ahead and find that that arrow font alright but uh, on a Mac it's very easy we can uh, go ahead and search for a font by the arrow and it's called Arrow Crafter, all right? And that's going to automatically select all these. So what I'm going to do with this is uh, I'm going to pick the the staff part. We're going to pick the feather part. And we're going to build ourselves uh, a custom arrow uh, based on these little fonts, these little glyphs here, okay? So, you know, you can start off with whatever feather you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Now the next thing that I'm going to add is the uh, shaft, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll up here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of these, all right? And then I'm going to finally add the arrow head, all right? So let's go ahead and pick something unique. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So now we sort of have our arrow, okay? And I, I'm I'm done with this. Now... With the image that you saw before for the circle arrow, uh, I did uh, select everything here. And I do need to have some of these shapes to be overlapping. So I'm going to click the little zoom tool here. And we have several options to uh, get this accomplished. We can select everything since it is a text file anyway. And we can go ahead and change the uh, tracking here. So we can go ahead and, and shrink the tracking if we want. And that will provide us with some overlapping uh, shapes here. Because as you can see, with the tracking increasing, you know, we have further spacing. So you just want them to overlap just a little bit. So maybe 98%, uh, and that will be good. Now we need to, uh, you know, make this one piece because as you can see, it is uh, separated. So I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to go ahead and go up to Path Union. All right, so now we have a nice solid arrow. Um, the other things that I did to this is I, I went over here to the little shape tool here, and I went to circle. So let me go ahead and uh, pan over here. I'm holding the space bar down when I had that selection tool selected. And I just added a couple circles here. So I'm, I'm going to hold the shift button down so I can have that circle be a true circle. And I'm just going to let go. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that uh, just a couple times. So I'm going to go ahead and up here to copy, paste, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste it again. So as you can see, I have, have these all spread out. I, I do want them centered, okay? So I'm going to select everything. So I'm going to do a Control A and select everything. And I need them uh, aligned a certain way. So let's go over here to the Move tool and let's have these vertically aligned so now they are uh, perfectly vertically anyway so now let's work on the uh, spacing so you can nudge these however you wish just so that they look even all right so now we have everything the way we want I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out uh, to the entire mat and now we need our shape that we're going to utilize in order to curve these things around a circle. So we need a circle. So here it is right here, circle. And I'm going to go ahead and hold the shift button down while I'm dragging this circle so uh, it will stay a perfect circle. Now we have that circle here. I am going to change the color of it just so that we can see what's going to happen with this. So I'm going to change the fill color to white. And I'm going to hit OK. So now that we have our circle here and we have 
our three circles and a completed arrow right here. I'm going to go ahead and select everything right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click the group button. All right. So I'm going to select all those. And I'm going to go up here to object and group. So once we have that, now I can go ahead and hold the shift button down and click on the circle. And then we're going to go up here under the effects menu. We're going to go up to effects and then we're going to go to object on a path. Now you're not going to see anything happen right now, but if we click the auto preview, we'll sort of see that we have the three dots and then we have uh, the little arrow. All right. So what we're going to go for is we're going to make sure that we check a couple options on here. All right. So we, we do want that arrow to sort of bend around that circle. So let's go ahead and click this to warp to path. All right, so that looks good, but there's only one arrow and three dots. Let's see if we can fill this entire circle here uh, auto-magically here with an arrow and the three dots and a repeating pattern. So right over here where it says repeat count, we don't want to go ahead and increase the numbers. Let's go ahead and let Shortcuts Lot do the hard math for us, and we're just going to go to Fill Path Link. And what that's going to do, it's going to utilize the uh, the circle along with the pattern, and it's going to fit however many it can on there. So in this example, we can only fit uh, three duplicated patterns of this. All right. So it still looks nice. We also want to make sure that check mark is uh, remove the original object. That's just going to remove the arrow and the three dots because we don't no longer need it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now we have our three circles and the arrow around a circle, right? And I'm, I don't need this circle as a guide anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And that is how you can utilize uh, K's uh, from Clever Someday's arrows to make your own unique uh, circle artwork. All right, so hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, showed you how you can utilize the object on path. And like I said, uh, make sure that you do go over here, and we'll provide that link in the description on where you can get this and uh, help support K, especially if you do plan on us utilizing these fonts in order to sell products because uh, you do need that commercial license. But we all like to support our own, so go check this out. Click the little Buy Now button, and uh, you'll have this font for you to use. All right?